Right, so I'd just like to give you a little bit of background about me. Um, I'm Olive Hickmott, and I've been a health coach now for um, 15 years. And I've been fascinated by all aspects of health and learning difficulties. Um, how I got into this was that when I was at school, I found spelling and reading really difficult. Although when I look back at my school reports now, I seem to be all right until about the age of six. Everybody said I was progressing. They kept on saying, Olive needs to learn to spell, Olive can't do this, etc., etc. And I was lucky, I could do maths. And so I progressed through school, oh, and sport was the other thing. I progressed through school and I did very well in some subjects, but literacy always let me down. And I have a wonderful school report at the age of 16 that said, it really would be helpful if Olive could learn to spell. This was the head teacher's comment on the bottom of my school report. And considering I'd been in the same school since I was four, I really did think that they could have done something about this. But clearly they didn't know how to teach me in a way that actually worked. And so I went to, I was lucky, I got to university, I did a maths degree, and I got into computer programming, which strangely enough is a very um, wordy sort of topic, but actually I managed to do it really well, and I became a manager, and so I didn't have to do so much literacy anymore, etc. Um, I'm sitting in a class, I decided to take um, NLP, and I'm sitting in a class of NLP in 2004 and somebody told me that good spellers see words in their imagination and I went you're joking you can't. how do you do that I have no idea what you're talking about and they demonstrated how good spellers did actually do that and I'm absolutely astounded sitting in the audience as to well how do you do that so me being me I decided to go into my local special needs school the next the very next day and say, can I borrow some of your poor spellers and see if I could get it to work on them? And I was astounded what I could do with these kids. But the thing was, they were in special needs school. So actually, this was the spelling strategy. And it wasn't everything you needed for um, dyslexia. And so I learned on the job with all these kids that were dyslexic that I'd never even met before, how to teach them to be good at spelling and reading and their results were absolutely astounding. They progressed at 15 minutes a week tuition from no letter words to 10 letter words, for example. They were absolutely astounding. And nobody else in the school was teaching them what I was teaching them. And so since then I decided, I did have a moment of thinking, should I go and kill my teacher for not teaching me this in the first place? But um, she was a lot older than me, so maybe she wasn't even around by now. And so then I went back in, then I decided that the best thing to do was to go and teach everybody else. And that's what I've been doing ever since. And it's an interesting, fascinating journey that I've been on for seven or eight years now. And I've learned so much about how I learn, how visual people learn, the exceptional skills these people have got. And how they're not using them to the best advantage. And so that's me and that's what I do now.